What's going on, family? This is Boy Mark 901. I'm checking in. And man, today, really, I really don't have any, really don't even have no title. I'm just really just going out, <clears throat> going out the dome, like freestyling. And uh, I'm here, I'm talking to y'all. Let me fix the camera so y'all can see good. <clears throat> Pretty much talking about um, shit, my friend, like, okay. Really, pretty much talking about life. Y'all can see these, these like real, these raw, uncut. I'm talking about just straight, just me and me, me and y'all. Like whoever watched this, whoever get to see this, whatever. <clears throat> Today, I want to talk about my of uh, like how I deal with it. Well, I did. I was depressed at one time. But uh, how I deal with depression and uh, everyday life things and stuff like that, like everyday life situation of how to stay positive, basically keep your mind positive and keep thinking, um, you know, about good things instead of bad things. First off, rule number one, <clears throat> with this is you don't have to go about it, but this is this is my way. You know what I'm saying? Of how I stay positive and stuff like that. Um, rule number one: stay the fuck away from around people. You know what I'm saying? If you know, if you know this person got this going on, and this person always got some negative shit going on, stay the fuck away from around them. You know what I'm saying? I know they could be family, friends, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like, and you know. That person always got some shit going, and <clears throat> it ain't in your best interest, and you can end up fucked out. Stay the fuck away from around them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like this rule number one in my book, anyway. I just don't answer the phone or she fucking tell them a lie. You know what I'm saying? We all hear me. We all we we. A spiritual being having a human experience is what you say. But most folks just say that we are human. But yeah. Anyway, man, you stay the fuck away from around them. Especially if you know you got goals and you got shit you're trying to do and you got stuff that you're trying to meet, a goal that you're trying to meet, man, stay the fuck away from around folks because it's, it's all a distraction. We got distractions anyway. So it's like, Something can happen just because you went over here with Bobby, and you know Bobby over here just Bobby just might want to just go get a drink, you know, kick it, go to the club, get up with some girls and stuff like that. But you know, you trying to mind. It could be something simple. You trying to buy a car. You know what I'm saying? You trying to save up your money to buy a boat or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or do something nice for somebody and. Bobby persuaded you and threw you way off track just because Bobby want to go get a drink and shit like that and you fuck around. You like, okay, it's just one drink. You know what I'm saying? Then one drink and turn around and you can spend like two, three hundred dollars that night, but you didn't intend on doing it. And they could have told you off track of what you got because you know if you, you're not rich or if you're not wealthy or none of that shit. So... <clears throat> This shit kind of, it totally threw you off track. So it's like, you should have just, like, stay the fuck away from around folks. If you if you got something going on, you trying to stay positive in your life, you trying to have good shit happen to you all the time, you got to stay the fuck away from around folks. It's not um bad to be by yourself all the time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times. Like, some folks, they can't even sit in the house by themselves. Like, they can't do nothing by themselves. They need somebody with them all the time. They need a wee, a wingman. You know what I'm saying? Like, move by yourself. And that's how you can accomplish a lot. Move by yourself. And uh, the second thing, you try to stay positive. You control, okay, first off, you control your own reality. Like, what I mean by that is, um, 
say, <clears throat> like the shit that you say, where's our spell? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know where's our spell. Y'all ain't, you ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you hear a song, sometimes it don't click with your ass the first time. If you don't, it, it get to clicking with your ass afterwards, though. Like if you keep hearing it, it, it it's putting a spell on you to keep on repeating it. it Where's a spell? Okay, just say the song. Like I said, the song went hard to you at first, and you kept hearing, you kept hearing, you kept hearing. Now it's like you just caught on to like, okay. It sounded kind of good to me. You know what I'm saying? This is just how your reality doing. Like, you, you'll be like, okay, <clears throat> damn, I don't never win. You know what I'm saying? You just constantly, damn, I don't never win. I don't never win. I don't never win. And it'll come to you. Like, you you putting it out in the atmosphere in the universe, taking it in. Like, okay, this this person don't never want to win. Nothing. Okay, cool. Shit, you ain't going to win. So... But it's like, that's why I say you control your own reality. So, with that being said, like, back to what I was saying, you want to have a good life. Like, you want to be, like, I, I, don't, I ain't just saying good by having a lot of money and shit. Like, they don't talk about, like, just being a positive person, like, being a positive state of mind and shit like that. Like, like you just got to say positive shit, even if you, you feel like it ain't. Like, even if you feel like your day, your day could be going sour as hell. Like, I always try to see the positive side of it, though. Like, be like, okay, <clears throat> just say you got four, five, six, seven hours of work. You four hours and 30 minutes in. You know, you got three hours and three hours and something left. Okay. Yo, your day going sour right now. You in the you in sour mode at your at your workout or whatever you doing, and uh, <clears throat> you only got three more hours of sourness. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna even matter after you get out of work. So the shit you you just gotta keep telling yourself positive shit, and positive shit will happen. Like it's gonna get better. Constantly tell yourself it's gonna get better. It's going to get better. It's going to be better days. Instead of you saying negative shit. Like, bro, I'm tired of this shit. I hate this shit. Sick of this shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that type of shit, you building this shit up on yourself. And it, it's going to constantly, you put it out in the, in the universe. And they constantly, like, it's, it's it's coming back all up on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit going to continuously happen like this. Like, you just got to tell yourself positive shit. Coach yourself on this. Like, man, that's like that's how I I deal with. That's how I have a positive life. You know what I'm saying? Like, not saying I I didn't go through depression and, and like the negativity stage and shit like that, having negative thoughts and shit like that. And you know, you got friends that think negative, which I actually I got friends myself, which I communicate with today. And they have negative thoughts and stuff like that. And I put it out of my mind, like, okay, I ain't thinking like that. You can think like that, but I ain't thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if y'all finna go somewhere and this person feel negative about it. Not saying sometimes, because this shit, like, a, a whole nother video, though, but sometimes negative thoughts can be a good thing, too. You know what I'm saying? This That's a whole nother video, though. But, because it could be on some, they can have a negative thought, be like, okay, don't go around the corner. And they, they, by them having that negative thought, that negative thought could be saying somebody, you going to get your ass shot up or something, or, or some bad shit going to happen to you. You take your ass around the corner. And just because they had that negative thought, they helped y'all out, and y'all didn't get fucked out. You know what I'm saying? You could just been thinking positive the whole time. So it, it's like we it plays both sides, but most of the time you trying to be positive, just wing this shit out. Like, okay, you could think like that, but I'm thinking positive though. Or you had females have y'all get down or whatever. And <clears throat> this how I deal with my situation. So like I just try to I just think positive all the time. Like, 
I enjoy a whole lot of shit. Like, I enjoy the day, the time, you know what I'm saying? I just think about me more majority of, of the time. Like, when I wake up, I don't even think negative shit, you know what I'm saying? I just think about, I'm, I'm happy to be here again because I feel like if you woke up, man, the creator woke you up again. <laughs> they woke you up to try again. This, this, cause some people wake up. A lot of folks wake up with negative mind thoughts. Like they have a negative thought when they wake up. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of folks don't even want to. It's just like, <clears throat> okay, when you were young, when you was younger, you was back in school, high school, middle school, elementary, whatever, and you wake up in the morning. Your mom and your parents they come get you, wake you up. And they tell you, um, time to go to school. You don't want to go to school because of either you not fresh, you don't feel that you fresh enough that day, or you just don't want to go because you got negative thoughts about it. You already know I got a test today. I got this going on. I got that going on. Dang. Um, somebody want to fight me or... I'm dodging this person, something like that. Like, you just got to think positive. Like I said, it, a lot of stuff, people, a lot of stuff that happened to you as an adult, it happened to you as a child, and it just follow you, and it's a burden that you just never faced. And that's why you continue to have it, that happening to you throughout your whole life. Some people just never deal with it. Like, it's some stuff that you, when folks say face their demons and, and face your fears and stuff like that, that's what they mean. Like, you, you need to, like, overcome it. Like, if something happened to you when you was a child, you got uh, touched, raped, uh, or a whole lot of stuff. Like, it, it could have been anything. You just need to face it. You know what I'm saying? And you can write it down or, or tell somebody that you, you know, really mess with, occur with, and stuff like that, maybe you'll feel better about the situation. <clears throat> or or see, the, see the better side of it or whatever. But, yeah, this, like, okay, like I was saying with the school incident, you wake up, you it, even with work, like, you come from, like, this, like I said with the school, you wake up thinking negative shit, they'll persuade you to don't even want to go to school because you already wake up with that negative thought. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now if you wake up, now fast forward to you on the duck now, it's time to go to work. You know your alarm clock went off. It's time to go to work. You got to be at work at 7 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, or 5 or half. Or, and um, you already know today be our busy day. You don't want to go because you already thinking negative. You already think, man, I'm going to have a lot, blah, 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 blah. What I do, I know it's my busy day, which is Monday. Okay, it's Monday. Who cares? It ain't going to matter tomorrow. That's what I say to myself. That's how I get to it. I be like, it ain't going to matter tomorrow. So I just get through it. Like even when when you get hit with like the type of person the type of person I am, if I get hit with something, I just deal with it. Period. Like don't let nothing surprise you. Like don't let nothing surprise you. That's the key. Like this this the million dollar thing on this the million dollar ounce I'm giving you right now. Don't let nothing surprise you. And when some come towards you, man, this like just deal with it. Like adapt. You know what I'm saying? Once you adapt to it and show people that even if you're showing people that you can adapt to certain situations, they value it. Like they look at you, they pay attention to it. Like, man, I, okay, I like this person because this is why her happened, man. They just flew through it like it wasn't even nothing. Like, this, I see the potential in that person. Like, even if they don't tell you, they'll still see it. Like, they might come out later on. Like I saw, I saw how you did that when it when this happened to you. It's the, you knew how to handle it. They might you might get a promotion doing stuff like that, or or some, you know, they might level you up in some type of way. But back to what I was saying though, that's how I deal with 
stuff like that's how I keep myself in a positive state of mind. Like I gotta, I wake up. I, I just gotta see the better. Like if some negative going on, and you gotta constantly tell yourself, like it's like words are spells. Constantly, I'm gonna keep telling you that. Like it's real. This is real. Words are spells. Why you think you can't repeat the same lyrics and stuff like that? Cause it's it's putting a spell on you, duh. But man, you gotta put a spell on yourself and constantly tell yourself, hey, this I'm hey, this why right here gonna happen. If you want a million dollars, keep telling yourself, I'm gonna get a million dollars. I'm gonna get a million dollars. Keep telling yourself, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this girl. I'm gonna get this girl. I'm gonna get this dude. I'm gonna get this dude. Or I'm gonna get this car. I'm gonna get this car. Like, for instance, I got the G8 because I told myself, I'm going to get this G8. I'm not lying. Like, this is real. Like, this is real. I can't make this up. This is raw. Like, I'm telling you, this is uncut and raw. I said to myself, I was going to get that G8. I put my mind on the G8. I saw the G8. I said, I'm going to get this G8. And I got, I'm talking about, I got... Stuff came in the way numerous of times, so I couldn't get the G8, and then I finally got it, which it ain't nothing, but I got it, though. You get what I'm saying? It's like I told myself I'm going to quit this certain job that I was at, and I didn't, I didn't know how I was going to quit. I didn't. This the thing, too. A lot of folks get shit fucked up. You don't have to know. A trick to a lot of shit, you don't have to know how the fuck you gonna get out of it. That's the crazy shit. You don't even gotta know how you gonna get out of it. But just tell yourself, just know you gonna get up out of it. I always know. Know you gonna get up out of it. If you in a fucked up situation, tell yourself, man, I know I'm gonna get up out of this shit. You gonna get done. You gonna get done. Just keep, even if you feel like you're lying to yourself, just tell yourself, you gonna get better. This shit gonna get greater, man. Cause you can't file forever. Can't file forever. Nah, and this shit, like, everybody, I believe, I'm going to say majority of everybody. I can't say everybody because I, I really don't know. I'm just going out from my experience of what I have seen happen. A lot of folks going to get a chance to at least get a certain amount of money or, or get to a certain level. And it depends on what you do with it or, or if you want to. Stay afloat or either just lean back to because some folks are actually. I didn't, I'm telling you stuff from experience. Some folks are actually comfortable with with the level of life they in now. They just won't say it, but they actually are comfortable. They're comfortable with not doing nothing and they're comfortable with not working. They're comfortable with not, you know, succeeding in certain levels and shit like that. With that, which they probably are smart. Like, they probably are smart enough to even level up and do certain things that, that'll blow the mind. But it's just they don't do it. Like, they, it's it's just like, it's lack of laziness. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of, I believe everybody get, uh, like, lazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's something that every, every person damn near, like, go through, like, a lazy stage. And, you know what I'm saying? Even I get lazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done feel lazy a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? That's just the trick, though. That's the trick of the, it's, it, and that, this shit can go back to the food you eat and everything. Like, I can, that's a whole nother story, too. You can, when you eat certain foods and shit, you know how you eating the soul food. They say it's soul food, but you know it's soul food. But this shit really make you lazy. Don't know food's supposed to be making you lazy like this. You don't even supposed to be, your body don't need to be moving like this on some lazy shit like this. You supposed to be active, like, and I ain't mean I don't mean active in a way like you running fast and shit like that. Like you supposed to be, your body supposed to be in good condition. You know what I'm saying? You don't supposed to be feeling sore and shit like that. But a lot of this shit come from you know label these jobs and shit you got going and shit like that. But like I said, if you want better, you got to know you're gonna get better, and you got to tell yourself good shit. Like, look in the mirror and talk to yourself. You know what I'm saying? My, tell yourself good shit. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't hear it from your mate or you don't hear it from nobody, tell yourself you look good. I done seen some crazy shit. I done 
told this shit, cut, unroll my ultimate roll. Like, I done seen motherfuckers telling they self they ugly. Like, I done, I done seen the motherfuckers, heard the motherfuckers say, I, I know I'm ugly. My, I look, hey, motherfucker, hey, I can't be fucked with you. You know, I can't. Motherfucker like that, man, they self esteem just fucked off. For real. You don't fuck tell yourself you ugly as a motherfucker. What, what's wrong with you? You fucking crazy. But, man, tell yourself good shit. Like I said, and shit gonna get better. Y'all got the street, they train. I stay by a railroad track. And, uh, man, yeah, I'm a hood nigga, yeah. But, anyway, man, this this all of the video. This shit, like I said, this shit just cut on raw. This how I deal with depression and, and like, this this my story of how I deal with a lot of shit, like how I stay positive and shit like this. Somebody want to know how to stay positive. If, if this help you, resonate with you, my like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. But, my this is all I got to tell you, man. Yeah. And uh, peace with y'all. And uh, appreciate the love.